Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Highways. In this video, I am going to explain few things related to the how to get civil engineering job in the UK. So first one is master's method. Okay. So if you have done in bachelor's in a, any university or any college in India and you can come back and you can join in master's and then you can get it. So that one is a sim pretty much simple process. Okay. So once you have done in masters, so you, you will get job easily. Okay, not that much difficult. Okay, and then second one is experience based. Based on this only, I got a job here. Okay, so I will explain the uh, insights. Okay, next, see, coming to masters in civil engineering, there are various universities in every uh, county. Uh, mm, different different universities are there and there most of them are good universities as per rankings also so you can apply and you can first of all for that you have to write TOEFL or uh, IELTS okay that is a different process once you get a admission so after uh, come before completion only you will get a chance to work in a as an internship okay in so many companies so after that uh, definitely you will get a job okay so many of uh, so many of my colleagues also uh, work like that only okay so there are c you can see college london university of college london sheffield okay uh, birmingham university of manchester there are so many universities in every county i mean not so many every county have one or two universities good universities okay so this is very much simple process then coming to experience based experience based means uh, in india there are few global design centers like uh, arcades acom wsp mott mcdonald jacobs egs have some uh, design centers so nothing minds they have uh, they have regional offices in india in noida delhi and then bangalore hyderabad so they are directly working with the uk clients uk clients in ireland not only uk and ireland australia also and us also so they are dealing the projects directly from those offices so those are called global design centers okay so if you have experience in these companies so that will benefit a lot okay so they have global design centers which are working in uk based projects okay next so how to apply so once you have experience so how to apply for that oh, for me also i have gone through the linkedin only so in linkedin you set up a uh, job alert like this okay highway engineer and united kingdom or in any location or us also you will get alerts every uh, every day you will get but uh, uh, most of them are not won't much satisfy our experiences but try at least try uh, through these links and then go to it will go to the official websites there you have to upload some documents in the next slide i will show okay first one is always go through the linkedin Okay, and then set a job alert and then check official websites these three are the approaches i i also followed then coming to the important things to get shortlisted for interview okay first one is cv okay cv is very very important whatever you have written that is that is going to ask in an interview okay don't write unnecessary information whatever brief it okay no need to mention so many projects so whichever you are confident mention those only and then up, uh, apply okay so along with cv we need you need a cover letter in a cover letter you have to write about your uh, just a one page brief means if you have ic membership and uh, how, how we have handled and some some situations you can explain okay how many years of experience Okay. those things you can mention in a cover letter and then uh, one more thing uh, helped me is presentation of your works okay presentation means whatever you have done keep a slide keep a slide uh, of those works and uh, take a screenshot from those and uh, keep it in a slide format okay 
and then uh, prepare a entire whatever you have done give a prepare a ppt and then one more thing is if you have a membership in ICE or CIHT so it will benefit a lot okay this is for uh, highway engineers uh, and then structural engineers also there are some various uh, institutions okay so that also benefit somewhat not I can say completely so if you have a membership it will benefit a lot okay because uh, based on membership also you, you you will get a salary okay so those are the things and then once you have start listed so then you have to prove it okay so for shortlisting itself you need these four things okay next so once you are shortlisted what are the things uh, company is going to provide one is skilled worker visa and then certificate of sponsorship and then immigration health surcharge IHS, IHS and then visa expenses accommodation and travel expenses most of the companies are not providing all uh, few things are not uh, uh, able to provide so for mostly skilled worker visa means it will be like three years three years and it will uh, it can be extendable if you work in the same company okay and if you can switch also uh, there is no need to worry uh, certificate of sponsorship will be provided by the new employee and then you can uh, link it to the skilled worker visa okay so then IHS IHS is very very important uh, this amount is 1870 pounds and then visa expenses also around 40 to 50 K INR uh, like that so total around 2.35 lakhs mostly they can uh, pay you so and a few companies are not providing accommodation and travel expenses so depends on the uh, company okay and their policy also so that's it guys so mostly main thing you have to concentrate on the cv cover letter and presentation and then set a job alert in the linkedin uh, after that no need to worry once you get shortlisted you will get all those uh, not, not all those at least few things so that can be that can be a benefit a lot okay uh, so i will make few more videos how the working culture and then uh, how the environment and you okay okay so all those things so that's it guys i hope you like the video uh, thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for more videos